What's up, guys? All right, uh, real quick before I begin, show of hands, who here likes comedy? Okay, keep them up. Keep keep them up. I'm fucking up the count. All right, I think we got enough here for this to work. <laughs> There's something special <clears throat> about sharing a meal with a nice lady. But there's something really special if she's cool with going to Arby's. Because it is just goddamn delicious and affordable. We could share a dollar roast beef, maybe a ham and cheddar. I don't know, we'll see where the night takes us. And then we'll lather each other's bodies in that delicious horsey sauce. <laughs> oh man, that's better than any KY or petroleum jelly. We'll spend the night slicing up some freshness. Slicing up some freshness was Arby's slogan when I wrote that joke. <laughs> I, I don't know what their, what is their slogan now? Does anybody know? Okay, we'll s slice up some fucking fresh just tonight, guys. What is it? We have the beef. We have the beef. Okay. I was playing a basketball video game. Uh, NBA, fuck, whatever. And... <laughs> thought to myself, yeah, I'd fuck a video game cheerleader. Right in her pixel. <laughs> and people say to me, yo, dude, I gotta go run and get some cash from the ATM machine. I think to myself, surely this person doesn't mean to say he's going to the automated teller machine machine. That'd be redundant. That's got me wondering where all of these ass-to-mouth machines are. <laughs> if anybody's wondering, I'm about four or five beers in. Right now I'm sipping on what is, uh, what's called Big Flats. It's a fucking awesome, wonderfully shitty beer that you can purchase at any Walgreens. It's 350 a six pack and tastes like it costs 350 a six pack. So take that as you will. <laughs> but what gets me about this, and mo most any shitty beer I, b I believe has this slogan on it. It says, brewed from only the choicest hops. Now, the way I interpret that is, is the brewery chose some hops. And those are the choicest tops. So, um, look high em. I don't know any scientists, but all of my friends are just cocksure. That's a fun word. <laughs> They're just cocksure that fracking is bad for the, uh, the planet. They believe that it is. Everybody I know, having no background in the sciences, in fact, most of my friends are just musicians and comedians, so what the fuck do they know about <laughs> anything beyond the arts? But they are just sure of it that fracking is harmful to this planet. And if fracking is harmful to the earth, then I am so pro-fracking. Because we've gotten some amazing art from people who were just wrecking their bodies. A acclaimed Phillips, uh, pff, hold on, acclaimed science fiction author, Philip K. Dick, wouldn't have written shit if he wasn't mainlining methamphetamines. <laughs> If Philip K. Dick hadn't have been destroying his body, Ridley Scott would have never been able to make Blade Runner. And that's just a lesson in causality.
<laughs> so you know any who here is a fan of Doctor Who? Do you you think there might be an episode where he goes back in time and he has to sell Philip K. Dick crank? To get him to... we, we need your books. It's bigger on the inside. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. So, keep fracking. And maybe that will give the earth the creative spark it needs to... I don't know, make some new islands. <laughs> maybe, maybe another Grand Canyon. Or a crack off another moon or something. <laughs> what is, what's the earth, what has the earth put out lately? It's been, it's been a bit of a lapse in creative works. <laughs> I've, I've heard that it's, uh, that the earth is, working on erupting a super volcano down in Yellowstone, but fuck, I don't, I just feel like that's gonna be too much like when Dylan went electric. And <laughs> nobody wants that. Nobody asked for Dylan to go electric and nobody's asking for the earth to cause a nuclear winter. <laughs> so if you want the earth to get off its lazy ass and put out some new material, Oh, yes, for fracking. <laughs> I'm a proud supporter of fracking. I'm out of beer. <laughs> I, uh... I do really love the arts. I think they're important. Uh, but there, there is an inherent absurdity that goes along with pursuing the, uh, the arts. It's, a, it's all just playing around. We're having some fun. When there are people out there, you know, making the world a better place through, like, science, and while I do love the arts, you could fill the Louvre with as many paintings as you want, and Taylor Swift can pump out as many CDs as she wants, but there's a robot on Mars, and people still get cancer. Man, I really lost y'all with that one, didn't I? <laughs> I really... The point I'm making is, is that's what's upsetting about anybody that's pretentious about art because it's, it's all just having fun and I'm doing my best to have a good time tonight, but I really lost y'all with that cancer <laughs> line right there. Maybe go AIDS next time. AIDS? Do you have AIDS? No. Go get it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You, listen, you guys are a really great crowd. I've been here before. I know y'all are good people. I just love doing that to a heckler, telling someone to go get AIDS. Yeah. All right. Just a little AIDS. All right. I was never aware of this, but apparently at uh, Comic-Cons, celebrities charge for their autographs. What the fuck? I don't, there, like I said, there are people out there who do important shit, like building buildings and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> but actors and actresses, they just play around in front of a camera, which is fine. I love movies, I love TV. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> which is which is fine. I, there's some excellent movies out there, but charging for a, a goddamn signature on a headshot—that's just ego maniacal. That's some bullshit. I don't like it. That's the point. But 
Apparently, when Sigourney Weaver shows up to these things, and this is, I was devastated to hear this because I love her so much. When Sigourney Weaver shows up to a Comic Con, she charges $200 for an autograph. Fuck you, Sigourney Weaver. I mean, I love her, but I can give $200 to any street level whore to pretend to like me and receive a much better service. I get a get a different kind of headshot. I mean, I'm an idiot. Now, should Sigourney Weaver offer a little head, I'll wait in line. I'll stand behind the sweatiest Banes and Wolverines and Deadpools for a shot in that mouth. Now, this is Sigourney Weaver. She's, she's a respectable actress. She was Ripley and Alien. She doesn't have to finish. I'm talking $200, $200, and it's, it's three licks like the Tootsie Pop Owl. I'll be, I'll be on my way after that, showing everyone in the convention center my massive Sigourney Weaver blue balls. <laughs> Ripley did this. Ripley did this. Believe it or not, there is no Dana, only Zool balls. <laughs> all right, guys, that's really all I wanted to work on, and I'm going to end on Zool balls. Thank you so much for your time. Thank <laughs> you.